All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to do the pumpkin in the style of Piat Mondrian. Okay, we don't want this like regular looking pumpkin because we want to be able to use our primary colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start all over on a new sketch. I'm not going to save it because I don't need it. Okay, I'm going to zoom out so I can see my whole entire drawing space. I'm going to select my black instead of a color. First thing I'm going to do is draw an oval, so I'm going to use my shape tool. I'm going to draw an oval. Close my shape tool because that's the oval that I need. Um, I can turn on my stabilizer and I can just start drawing the rest of the pumpkin pieces or if you would like to open up a ruler tool, you have this curved one here that you can actually adjust for your ruler tool. So I'm going to use my ruler tool. I'm arranging it. I'm like changing its position with my touch screen. Okay. a little different a little harder but as you can see I can actually draw a line to go along that edge okay you could do it that way you could use this one here as well which is like the oval itself this one might be a little bit easier you can adjust it okay I don't want it to be as big as this oval maybe Maybe about the same size, but I'm actually going to move it slightly over and make it a little fatter. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the line along the edge here. I'm going to move this over again, make it a little bit smaller, curve it a little bit and draw the line again. But notice I'm not drawing the whole thing, I'm just drawing a little bit of it, okay? And then I can do the same thing to the other side, all right? I'll do one more, a little bit smaller, maybe more angled too. And same thing. Okay. So now that I have my pumpkin, all right, notice how I have a couple pieces here that kind of like overlap into the pumpkin pieces. That's okay. I'll go ahead and draw my stem. All right, so now I have my pumpkin. Just make sure that your pieces are all connected. We want to make sure that they're all closed. So when we start to fill it in, we can fill it in nicely and it doesn't actually um, fill in the whole space. So I'm going to just come in here and start erasing some of these pieces so that they're not entering into my other space. Make it look a little neater, a little nicer. All right, that looks better. Okay, and since we are doing Piat Mandrian, I'm gonna use my ruler again. Okay, so this time I'm gonna use the straight edge ruler. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start drawing some lines that are either vertical or horizontal. Okay, I want them to be vertical or horizontal 90 degrees or horizontal zero degrees, so that way it matches his style. Okay, so I'm going to come through and I'm going to, oh, I have my eraser selected, sorry. I'm going to come through and I'm going to draw some lines. Remember, I want them to go into my pumpkin. I also want them to come out of my pumpkin. They're just going to be going in different directions. Okay, but again, make sure that it actually 
does not overlap, does not close, or that it does close, and that your lines are nice and smooth. Okay? So just go through and add your lines. Make sure that it's connecting. I'm going to add a couple vertical, horizontal ones. Oops. Remember, ooh. All right. Careful with your touch screen. Okay. We'll do maybe from here. Remember, you don't have to really put these in a specific place. You're just kind of freehand drawing your lines. Okay. But again, make sure that they are completely closed. Okay. Now I'm going to change my direction and start drawing some vertical lines. Okay. Be aware of your spaces because sometimes your spaces are going to get really small and we don't want them to be too small. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do this one so that way it closes it. Do this one here. I'll do one all the way through. Move my ruler again. We'll cut this in half. Maybe to there. And then down here, do this over here. We'll just go all the way across. Maybe this one and this one. Okay. So I'll turn off my ruler. All right, so now I have all my spaces that are in the style of Piat Mondrian. Okay. I'm going to just go through and make sure that these spaces are closed. Ooh, because if they're not closed, it's going to fill in all of the information. And we don't want it to fill in all of it. We just want it to fill in the one space. Okay. All right. So now that it's all nice and straight and neat, I'm going to take my fill can. And I'm going to start filling in these spaces. Remember, it's not just the pumpkin. It's every single little space that's been cut and created into its own shape. Okay. I'm not going to use orange either because we're not working with secondary colors. We're working with primary colors. So the only colors that I can use are yellow, okay, red, and blue okay there's a bunch of different shades of blue i can i'll let you use different shades of blue so just make sure that you're using different shades of blue red and yellow i'll also let you use the grays oops i touched the line okay you can use the grays and you can use black okay and you can also leave spaces white Okay, but do not try to go into any of the orange colors. Try not to go into any of the pink colors or the green colors. Okay, remember just red, yellow, and blues. All right, so go ahead and fill in the rest of your spaces. Um, I can't really do it because I don't have the ability to um, speed up my video. So I'm just going to kind of select some pieces here. Maybe go back to the red, so several pieces here, and just kind of randomly put them in there. Remember, they don't have to be um, in an, any specific order as long as you're putting them in those spaces. Okay? All right, and then again, if I'm finished, I'm going to submit it in Schoology. So... Keep in mind that when we are submitting in Schoology, we have to make sure that we are using the export button and not the save button. Okay, We want to make sure that we are exporting it as a JPEG. So click on the menu, click on export so it saves it as a picture. 
It's going to save into your digital artwork, the same folder as before. I'll put my name and then put primary colors. Okay, I'll save it. Now that it's saved, I can go into Schoology and upload it into the Schoology assignment. And that's it.